As the mold initially opens, known as breakaway, it is important to determine the maximum speed the mold halves can separate safely. In most cases, the slower the mold opens, the better the mold cavity separates from the part. Since a slower mold opening speed takes time and slows down the process, you should test various speeds until you determine an initial breakaway speed which is fast and still provides an acceptable part. This breakaway speed should be used until the part is cleared from the mold cavity and the leader pins are completely out of the bushings. After the part and leader pins are cleared, a significantly higher mold opening speed should then be used. The speed, accuracy, and reliability of electric servo motors allows you to make the final mold opening quickly. Many molders choose to use the fastest speed available. Since servo motors on electric molding machines are very responsive, a slowdown before the mold open set point is typically not necessary. The final mold opening distance should be only what is necessary to remove the part from the mold during part ejection. Every additional inch or centimeter of mold opening can consume a large amount of energy and time over the course of a year. For example, let's suppose a mold opens 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters more than is required. After 100,000 cycles, the movable platen will travel an additional 3 miles or 5 kilometers more than is necessary. All this wasted travel consumes energy and increases wear on all the movable components.